hopefully I can sing this. I remember an old song we used to say it like this. Pray for me. Because they are connected, God, they will feel the blessing, God. 
that it will shower upon shower down upon them, God. Yes. And God will forever give you the praise. Now, God, the last thing I want to pray, God, is for forgiveness. Yes. God, we don't want to come before you, God, without saying, Lord, that we have messed up yes. in our lives, God. Yes. God, you have said even in, in, in your word that even at our best, we are just filthy rags, God. Yes. And so, God, we are praying for forgiveness of the sins that we have committed, yes. knowing and unknowing, God. Yes. Yes. This past week, God, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you just right now forgive us of everything, God, yes, Lord. that we have done wrong, God. Yes. Not just this week, but even for this uh, this day, God, that when yes. we woke up this morning, yes. when we did something wrong, God, and even not knowing, we pray for forgiveness, God, yes, Lord. that we may come before your, your uh, before you, God, in your throne room, God, yes. with holy and clean hands, God. Yes, Lord. And God will forever give you the praise, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. And the saints of God say, Amen. 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 Come on, can you again put your hands together? Amen. Amen. Uh, this is the first time I have been uh, invited to speak in this pulpit, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you serve notice that I'm a very long winded preacher. <laughs> Amen. And I'm very long winded, so I'm just asking that you just bear with me. Amen. Amen. There is a story that the Lord want me to tell today. Amen. And I believe that uh, I could tell it, or I could tell it uh, in a timely fashion if I could get an amen, amen every now and then. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Every now and then. Every now and then. Amen. Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, amen, if you'll turn with me to the book of John, very familiar familiar passage of scripture, amen. amen, the book of John. Uh, I know it's probably custom, if you don't mind, if the urchin will go ahead and let those in, amen, so they can hear the reading of the word, amen, thank you, amen, thank you, amen, the book of John, I know that you, I know that it's not custom that we do that, but I just want them to be in on the whole the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. Amen. The book of John, chapter number six, very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. John chapter number six. John chapter number six. I'm going to start at verse number one. And I, as I read and paraphrase, I'm asking that you follow along with me. Amen. Very familiar passage. John chapter 6, verse number 1. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which was the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into the mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. And Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw the great company that come unto him. And he said unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that they may and he said, and, and excuse me, verse number six, and, and this he said to prove him for himself knew what he would do. Verse number six says, and this he said to prove him for he himself knew what he would do. And Philip answered and said, 200 Pennyworth of bread is not significant for them that every one of them may take a loaf. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter, brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which has five barley loaves and two small fish. But where are they among so many? Verse number nine says, there is a lad here that have five barley loaves and two small fish. 
But what are they among so many? Mm -hmm. Verse number nine says, There is a lad here which has five barley loaves, two small fish, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, make the men sit down. And Jesus said, make the men sit down. If I can for just a moment speak to you from the topic, I don't have much, but what I have belongs to God. Yeah. All right. I don't have much, but what I have belongs to God. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we truly thank you and praise you, Lord, for again this moment, God, to come before you. I pray, Heavenly Father, that the words that come out of my mouth, God, would not represent me, but represent you, God. I pray, Heavenly Father, that it begin to speak word of life to your people, God. Now, God, bring all things back to my remembrance, God, the things that you have spoken unto me, that they may they may feed your people, God. I even pray right now that you will hide me behind the cross, Lord that they may see you and not I, God. Speak a word, God, of deliverance today, God, that we all may be fed, and we'll forever give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Hallelujah, thine glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine glory. Revive us again. I don't have much, but what I have, I give to God. So many people can begin to understand just that phrase, I don't have much. Because if the truth be told, many of us are in a circle of friends who can say the same thing, I don't have much. One of the things that I have found out in my studies is that birds of the same feather mm. flock together. Yes, 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 yes. And people who have money normally are around people who have money. Come on. That's right. All right now. People who don't have money are normally around people who don't have money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on, you can imagine and understand what I'm saying because even in your life, you have seen where drug users normally hang around drug users. Well, uh, liars normally hang around liars. Come on now. Gossipers normally hang around gossipers. Lord have mercy. And those who don't have much mm. normally hang around those who don't have much. Yes, uh, as I began to think about this past week, I began to think about being at work and uh, seeing some of my co workers who began to look at a company that is in the middle of uh, changing some things around. A company that began to make an announcement on a month ago decided to say that we are going to cut 30% uh, of the staff. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And then they turn around and say, we're going to cut 40% mm -hmm. of the staff. Mm -hmm. uh, those who normally worry began to worry. Mm -hmm. and those who have been at the company for a while seem at ease. More important, those who knew Jesus yes. oh, began yes. to call on the name yes. Come on now. of the Lord. Yes. Uh, some began to ask, how did I feel about the news? Mm -hmm. and it began to take me back mm -hmm. to one of my aunts 
who would begin to say that I was looking for a job yeah. when I found this yeah. one. Come on now. Right. And that only means that I'm not a stranger yeah. for looking for a job. Yeah. Come on now. Right. Because I realized this, I began to always, always put my trust yes. in Jesus. Yes. Well, for somebody in here where I began to understand that I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Right. Come on now. Nor the seed begging for bread. Yes. I got a God who have taken care of me for the last 50 years. Yes. Come on now. And if he allowed me to live to see another yes. 50 years, yes. my trust will still yes. remain yes. in God. Yeah. Yes. I'm preaching to somebody in this place I know right now who have looked at uh, uh, the debates over the last couple of months and who have looked at the polls over the last couple of months and some have decided in their mind I don't know whether to vote for the man who seems so feeble or uh, vote for the man who seems like he just lie in front of your face. Come on now. Either way it goes, I don't know which way to vote. Well, but the one thing that I know and I know for certain is yes. that if God have taken care of me yes. Yes. for the last 50 years, yes. he'll still take care yes. of me yes. for the next 50 yes. years. Yes. Yes. I don't mind who's in the White House mm -hmm. on, as on. long as I know who's in my house. Yes. Yes. Uh, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes, yes sir. I don't have much, but what I have, I give to God. Yes. I'm saying all of this to say that for those who are here, I, I want you to begin to consider why God have you in this place at this time. I want you to begin to consider about your life and what God has prepared and given you in your life. Because what you have, you have on Purpose. Yes. Yes. Let me say that again for those who didn't hear me. What you do have, you have on purpose. Yes. Uh, you ain't got it. Let me say it again because somebody should have got happy off of that. Yes. Whatever you do have, on. you have on purpose. Yes. Uh, maybe you don't have a million dollars, but what you have in, that, in your account <laughs> is there on purpose. Purpose. Yes. Yes. You might not have a mansion on top of the hill, yes. but what you have, yes. you have on purpose. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, why do you say that, preacher? How do you come to the fact that I have what I have on purpose? Come on now. I can say that because I have read John chapter number six. Yes. And when I read John chapter number six, I find that there's a little boy well, that's in our particular lesson today. Yes, sir. Yes. And this little boy don't have much. All he got is a fish sandwich. Yes. Come on now. Right. But what he have, he have on purpose. purpose. Yes, sir. Uh, this little boy don't have much because he's young in stature. But who he is, he is that purpose person. Yes. Yeah. How can you say that? Because I need somebody in here to understand that God has given you what you have mm. for a purpose. Yes. First thing I know that you to understand is the reason he had given it to you. He's given it to you because, one, you are a follower of Christ. Come yeah. on, come, come on. on. Can I get one or two witnesses right. here <laughs> yes, who sir. believe that you are a follower of Christ? Yes, sir. He's given you what he has given you because, one, you are a follower of Christ. Yeah. Uh, there are some people in my lifetime I have met have a whole lot, mm. but they don't know what to do with what they have. Yeah, yeah there are some, some people that I, I, I meet, that I, people that I, I, I work with, it, it seems like they got all kind of finances and, and everything going for them, but what they have, they don't understand what to do with it. Well, uh, because they talk all week about what they want to do on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Talk all week about what they want to do on Saturday night. Yes. Well, they talk all week about what they want to do on Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. But nobody talks.
talks about what they want to do in the house of the Lord. I can begin to say that because of their discussions, they're not a follower of Christ. Well, but come Monday morning, they begin to come into work and talk about the good times on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. But they're not talking so loud because they got a hangover from the weekend. Lord, I'm right I'll preach to myself. They're not talking so loud because what they have now, they put themselves in a predicament that they're wondering how they're going to make it through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the paycheck on Friday. Because they took what they had and spent all they had over the weekend. Come on, man. Jesus began to ask the question, what are we going to do? He began 
get that out of those couple of verses? How, how do you come up with that? How do you come up with that? I come up with that because one of the verses that I read to you was verse number 6, chapter number 6, verse number 6. And it begins to tell us that Jesus already knew. He knew. Come on. What he was going to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if he knew what he was going to do, that means that the question he asked, what shall we do? Uh, I, I already know what I'm going to do, so I'm asking you a question because that just simply means I need you to begin to think. Yeah. I, I want to see where you are in this situation. Yeah. Come on now. And, 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 and his disciples begin to show their true self. Well, come on, y'all got to pray with me. I, I heard it only if you pray with me just a little bit more. Uh, they begin to act, they begin to show their true self. How many you get that? Because one began to say, we ain't got enough money. Come on, come on. Uh, Judge come on, folks. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Y'all ain't get that. Y'all ain't get that. One began to say, we ain't got enough money. Well, another one began to say, uh, they ain't going to make it. Out here in, 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 in this mountain, and ain't got nobody to take a no, Ain't nobody around. Look, look, down. Ain't nothing. Help and me. the reason why I say they begin to show, show their true uh, colors is because the truth of the matter, they had already been walking with Jesus. Yes. Sister Smith, I, I begin to remember that in John chapter 1, that he began to be invited to a wedding. Mm. And when they ran out of wine, that he began to say, fill the water pots. Yes, yes. And he began to simply say, go and draw from the water the wine. What are you saying, preacher? Oh, that I realized that if he did it in John chapter 1, yes. he still was able to do it in John chapter number 6. Yes. Why are you looking for money yes. when you got the bread of life? Come on, man. Preach it. Preach it. Uh, uh, let, me, let me move on. Let me hasten the road. So we understand that these disciples began to show their true colors, that they didn't have faith in the man with the plane. Come on, come on, come on. They didn't have faith. They didn't have faith. They didn't have faith. Not only did they didn't have faith, but they didn't even have a vision. And why did you say they didn't have no vision? Why did you, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Because these are the same disciples who have followed him. Mm. All this time, and yet didn't bring the lunch Lord, have for me. this. Right. Come on, man. Uh, man, who have, they have followed him day in and day out, and they haven't brought the lunch. Why? 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 Can I answer why they didn't bring yes, the lunch? Yes, sir. Yes. Can, can, I, can, I, can I answer you why they didn't bring the lunch? boy. Because I realized that if he provided for them day after day after day yes. after day, yes. Yes. that on this particular day when he began to ask the question, what we going to do, they weren't worried about the multitude. All they were worried about was themselves. They was worried about themselves because Jesus had my food yesterday. Come on. Y'all done been to, to dinner. You done been to Ryan. You done been to the state house. And, and you know how it is when you go with certain people. You don't worry about who going to pay. Yes. Come on now. They always got the tab. Ain't that right? Lord have mercy. They always have the tab. Every time you turn around. Come on. Lord have mercy. So they was in the same boat. They was in the same. They wasn't worried about others because they knew that Jesus always had. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. So when he began to ask the question, I'm trying to make mm -hmm. it. I'm trying to make it. When he began to ask the question, mm -hmm. what are we going to do to feed the multitude? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, one says, uh, we ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. And the other one says, ain't no bake around right here. Mm. Then one speaks up and says, there's a little lad, a little boy. All right. A little boy, he got uh, some fish and some bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and you have to begin to understand that that was the answer Jesus was looking for. Uh -huh. Well, how do you feel that way? Because it was this lad who got up. Mm -hmm. Early 
early in the morning and said, let me prepare me something to eat. Uh, it was this boy who I believe the Holy Spirit got in his mind and began to say to this little boy, get you five little barley loaves and two fish. Either you're going to eat it or you're going to sell it, but take it with you. Come on now. It was this little boy who began to hear a spirit begin to talk to them in their mind, in his mind, and begin to say, don't leave home. Come on. With nothing. Well, yeah, come on. Right yeah. For such a, uh, sometimes you've got to get up in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you clothe yourself with righteousness. Yeah. 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 Don't you leave home with. Come on, man. Uh, you don't know who you're going to encounter yes. on your journey today. Yes, sir. Yes. That you might have to begin to pull out something yes. and begin to make something out of nothing. Yes. Come on, yes. Yes. Don't you leave home yes. with nothing. I, yes. I, I'm just the type of person that you don't leave home in the morning without praying first. Yes. You don't leave home yes. in the morning without covering yes. yourself yes. with the Lord. Don't leave yes. home in the morning yes. without asking God to never to you. Yes. Don't leave home yes. with yes. 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 Uh, Because if nobody else got anything, yes. Mm. Yes. if nobody else, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. one thing I can say is my God got me. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Let, let, let me get in the way. I, 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 I begin to look at this little boy. And, and I believe that because verse 6 says Jesus already knew mm. what he was going to do. Yeah. That means that Jesus had to put somebody in place yes. for him to begin to take the nothing and make something out of it. That brings me to my little sermon for the day. Come on, my man. little point says, I might not have much. Yes. 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 But the little I have belongs yes. to God. Yes. Because I left home with a little something. Yes. I, I know it ain't much. I, I understand I might can't pay your bill, but baby, I got a prayer on it. I might can't give you a, a steak, but baby, I know that I can give you to the person who got bread over in, in Egypt land. I, I might not be the one who can give you everything or uh, all the desire of your heart, but I know the man who owned a cow on a God. Yes, yes, yes. This man, this little boy, this little boy took his nothing, his his little bit of something, his little bit. I, I like how Simon began to say, he, he says that there, there's a there's a little boy who got five barley loaves. Oh, uh, Pastor Smith, I had to look up why is that barley just what is a barley loaf? Mm. Barley loaf is just it's the bread for the poor people. Lord have mercy. It's the bread. In other words, what he's trying to say that he ain't even got a loaf of bread. He got some crumbs. He he, he got uh, he got some some uh, some poor people bread. He he got the stuff that don't have any quality in it. Mm. Uh, he he got the no name brand. Come on now. He ain't got Nike. He got Nike. He got the stuff that he, it, it might be two fish and five bottles. Bottle low, but it ain't even real bread. Come on, yes. come on. It's that stuff they try to feed you on communion Sunday. Yes. That, that, yes. that ain't no bread. Here it is. He he got <coughs> two fish, five bottles. Yeah. And the Bible begin to say that Jesus says, "Take it." God, Mm. Oh my. Yeah. Take it. Take it, Lord. And make the people sit down. Yeah. Mm. In other words, I realize that when we begin to get in the posture of sitting, mm. it's the same thing as Nilla. That means that you're in a posture that you can't fight. Yeah. If you are going to go to battle, you don't sit down to go to battle. You always get up. Yeah. yeah. And stand straight and get ready to box. But anytime you kneel, anytime you sit, that means you're in a posture of weakness. 
things. Mm. And that means that you have to believe on somebody else's support. Yes. And so Jesus said, make them sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What I like about it is he blesses. it. He blesses. it. He blesses. it. Come on. Yes. And it fed over 5,000. Can yes. I begin to tell you about the 5,000? Mm. 5,000, and some people begin to think that that 5,000 actually means 20 because five only counted the men. Mm. It didn't count the little boys or the little girls nor the women. Wow. And we always know that I don't care where you go in the house of the Lord. Lord have mercy. Women always <laughs> outnumber yes. the men. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Yes. And so if it was 5,000 men, it's no idea how many people were actually there. Yeah. Right. But what I love about it, as I make my way to close, what I love about it is that Jesus had thousands of people he can use. Yeah. Yeah. But he took somebody who had so little Come on now. and began to make such a great impact. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, can I talk to you for a second? Help us, help us, help us. You might look around every now and then and say, it's a little of us. Yes. <laughs> but all it takes is God to bless yes. just a little. Yes. Yes. And you can begin to feed the whole community. Yes. All it takes is God to bless just this little. Yes. And you can begin to uh, close those who don't have clothes. Yes. All it takes is just this little. Yes. Yes. And you can begin to make an impact that's all it takes. Mm. Yeah. All you have to do is take your little and begin to put it in the hands of a master yeah. Yeah. with a plate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> verse 6 says he had a plate. Mm. Yeah. You take your little, you put it in the master's hand with the plan. And the Bible says that he began to do a miraculous thing. Right? Yeah. They begin to call it a miracle. Why do they call it a miracle? Yeah. Because if you look in verse five, verse number 11, it says he fed 5,000. Yeah. Verse 12 says he filled 5,000. Yeah. Verse 13 says there was overflow from the 5,000. Yeah. Oh, God Almighty. Y'all can get it. Let me say it again. Verse 11 says he fed 5,000. Well, yeah. Verse 12 says he feed, filled 5,000. Mm -hmm. Verse 13 says there was overflow. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. 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 see yeah. 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 Help us, help us. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let me say it again for those who don't understand. Verse 11 says he fed 5,000. Well, Verse 12 says he filled 5,000. Verse 13 says there was overflow oh. from 5,000. Come on, man. Ah, what am I saying to you, my son? He takes your little bit. Yes. Come on, man. Not only will he feed you and fill you, but he'll give you an over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm done. My time is up. You have to begin to understand that why well, I don't have much. The little I have, I give to God. Yes, yes. The little you have, give it to God. Yeah. You, 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 might, you, you might not be the one who, who they can call on in the time of trouble because it don't seem like you got much. Yeah. Mm. But whatever you do have, yeah. give it yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, what, what do I do? How do I start? Can, can I tell you how to start to give the little yeah. to God? Yeah. Start with simply a worship. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Mm. How? 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 Why, Pastor? Why? Mm. Why do you say start with the word? Why? It's important because the Bible begins <laughs> to tell us that where praises go up, mm. Mm. blessings yes. fall down. Yes. yes. It doesn't take uh, millions mm -hmm. to get the blessing from God. All it takes is begin to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot. Sometimes you have to begin to just muster up the strength. Have you ever been in that point? Yes. But you have been down, but all you can do is just say, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And if you begin to say it long enough and hard enough 
and you need it enough, you'll begin to feel better after a while. If you say it long enough, hard enough, and you need it enough, God will begin to shower you down with it. Yeah. Our granddaddy, before he passed, he had Alzheimer's. And whenever you would go visit him, he couldn't remember your name. He might recognize your face, but he couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get to the point that he would even make a complete sense. Mm -hmm. But one thing he would say is merciful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All day he could sit in a chair and say merciful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the things I realized is that if I can't say nothing else, yeah. God have yeah. mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Little I have. Yeah. It don't mean much to somebody. Mm -hmm. But I put it in the hands of the Lord. Yes. Yes. And when I put it in his hands, yes. he'll take my little yes. and he'll feed yes. five yes. thousand. Yes. Yes. Come on, get God some praise. I pray that you can understand what I'm saying today. Sometimes we begin to say, I, I, I know growing up, uh, they would say, when my ship comes in. Mm -hmm. That's what the older people would say. When my ship comes in, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. When yeah. my ship comes in. I'm still waiting to see that ship come in. Mm -hmm. But what you do have, Stop waiting on the ship to come That's in right. and begin right. to do something with what you do have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Put it in the hands yeah. of the master. Yeah. 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 If you're in this place today and you are not saved, if you're in this place today and you're not saved, I want to give an invitation to you right now. The word of God begins to tell us in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart, that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. This is an invitation for those who may be in this place and not saved. This is an invitation for you at this moment. A second invitation is an invitation for who may be in this place and maybe you don't have a church home. You don't have a place that you could call the, your place of worship. But the word even begins to tell us that forsake, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Mm -hmm. For there is power and might in the, prayer, in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. That simply means that you've got to be connected to somebody. Mm -hmm. Some church. You've got to be affiliated. Mm -hmm. And if you're not a, a, a member of a church, this is an invitation for you. You can make Mount Sinai your place of worship. Mm -hmm. You can make it your home today. And if you feel like this is not your place, I believe the uh, the pastor is willing to help you find a place that best works for you. Mm -hmm. This is an invitation also for you right now. We just want you to be connected. Amen. Amen. We just want you to be connected. Amen. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Right.
everybody you come in contact with about this word. You can hear to preach this word open. Yeah. Amen. To the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. Amen. This time I turn it back over. Amen. I'm not going to Amen. Amen. Uh, we benediction. Amen. We are ready for the benediction. Amen. I, I know that I can probably a little longer than what you normally hear, but I hope it was worth it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray. Amen. That God will uh, dismiss us. Amen. Also, those who are willing to give offerings. Amen. Malachi 3 and 10 says, Bring the tithe and offer to us to our house that there might be meat in my house. Prove it not here, said the Lord of hosts, that I will not open up the windows of heaven and for your blessings that you will not have room enough to receive. You are able to give your offerings in the basket on your way out. Let us pray. Father God, we truly thank you and praise you again for this day that you have given us, God. We thank you for the word that will come forth, God. We thank you, Lord, that we've heard a, hit, a word from you <coughs> today, God. And God, we pray, Lord, that it will just continue to stay in our spirit. Amen. Now, God, we ask you to bless the tithers, bless those who are given, God. Bless them, God. Press down, shake, and gather, shall me and God give unto their bosom according to your word, God. And God, we even pray that you dismiss us from this place, never from your presence of your grace, God. Keep us until we shall all meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. And the saints of God say amen. 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 Let's fellowship one with another. Let somebody know how great it is to worship with them today. Amen. 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 amen.